Hello and welcome to another FBL tutorial. I know that some of you may be waiting for the FPS game and advanced OpenGL tutorial. They will come soon. But until then, I will just want to show you how you can rotate a, a image with FDL Rotazoom and actually how to move in the rotated direction, although that's just basic trigonometry. So, first of all, we need a library called FDLGFX if you don't want to make the rotation function yourself. If you uh, download it and uh, un uh, uh, extract it, then you get something like this. Uh, this contains a lot of files. Uh, uh, you can probably install it in uh, Linux by using configure and make make install or something like that so the normal way of installing but actually you can just put your uh, put the C and the header file into the same folder as you are and it should work as well one thing although you want to modify is, is the header file like this SDR rotazoom uh, that age header file actually containing uh, let me go back the fdl.h in co in quotation marks so it's waiting that uh, it should be placed in the I your include folder actually to solve that you can actually just rewrite it to fdl slash fdl.h like that so now it's w it uh, it can be local include file and it will still search the fdl file in your include folder so that's one thing you should modify other than that, there is nothing. You just copy the file and use the functions and, of course, include. I have a main.cpp file right here in my desktop, and actually I copied the sdlrotazoom.c and sdlrotazoom.h file. These are the two files which contain uh, the rotation and zooming. So if I go here in the file, I go a little bit down, uh, as we will use this function, rotazoom surface. It can rotate and zoom to a surface. Here are the parameters, and actually you can see there are other functions right here. Uh, as, uh, this FDLGFX library contains other useful functions too, like the uh, primitives function, which will draw different kind of primitives, like uh, pixels, lines, uh, what else, rectangle, uh, rounded rectangle box. Uh, so go through the header file if you are interested in about that. I will use this for only rotation. So let me go back to the main file and include this rotazoom.h file. So include and just rotazoom oh, fdl underscore rotazoom.h. Right, so I just included the rotazoom file. This, this is the header file. And now I can start to rotate something. Although before I do that, I make a variable which will contain the rotation. This will be an integer variable and I call it angle. And let's just start from zero. Okay, and uh, as you can see, it, I added some things into my main file, like initializing the FDL, loading an image, which is just an image of this ship. It's a resized image one I uh, found on the internet. I added a color key, so the background will disappear. And what as of course, I added the keys. So whenever some of these keys is pressed, the, the WDSA key, then. Uh, this if statement will go, uh, so we will execute these if statements, as you can see, this for, although currently nothing in there, and I just uh, p uh, show the image on the screen. That's all I did here, so now if I compile this program and run it, as you can see, there is an image right here. I cannot rotate it or move it or anything yet, but we will add that in a moment. That is what this tutorial is about. So I needed an angle. The next thing to do is actually whenever the D is pressed, then just increase the angle, so angle plus equal, I don't know, 3. And whenever the A key is pressed, then just decrease, so angle minus equal and uh, 3. Right, and now if the angle actually make, if the angle is greater than 360, if angle is greater or equal than 360, then although this is not really necessary to do that angle minus equal 360 I just uh, do it so we will not run out from numbers uh, similarly if the angle is less than or equal than mi minus 360 then I add 360 angle plus, plus equal 360 so if we made a full circle then basically if we uh, just subtract the full circle from it then we get back the original uh, so we get back the same angle as we had earlier Okay, that was simple. The next thing to do is actually actually make the rotation itself. So I create a surface right here, SDL surface and rotated image. 
okay and this rotated image will be equal to roto zoom surface this is the name of the function if you remember from the header file roto zoom surface and it's waiting for the source the source is the e img which is the image of the ship that's what i originally showed and i loaded it right here so load it to a tmp image and uh, convert it to a display format okay so rotating the image the next thing on the list is the angle this is what i had the angle variable the next is the zooming just pass 1.0 so it will not zoom and the last thing to do is the smoothing so if it is zero then it will not until alive uh, if it is one then it will until until alive i will use zero right here because uh, the until aliasing kind of screw up the color keying right so now i just show this rotated image and if everything goes well it should work so try to compile it and run it and now when i press the a as you can see it's rotating if i rotate it back it's rotating as well although one thing you may notice it's not centered this rotation uh, before i do that actually i want to tell you that some version of this sdl gfx library may require you to set the color key again so sdl set color key and rotated image rotated image and just sdl src color key as always and just Ma SDL map RGB okay rotated image format okay that was kind of simple uh, so I just set the uh, color key once again and now if I should uh, I run the program again I probably get the exact same result uh, but as I said some older version of SDL GFX library may require you to do that the next thing to do is to actually center the rotation because whenever you make a game you probably want it to rotate on the center of the image which is logical and not in in the weird, in this weird point so this is a weird rotation no one rotates like this mostly not in a game so to do that basically we get the old center point and subtract no get the new center point and subtract the new center point so here i make a little uh, drawing this was the old center point of the image which looked like this this is the new center point of the image and in order to be uh, and in order to rotate uh, in uh, at least seem that it's rotating in the center we move the new center point to uh, the old center point that's what we will do so let me create a rectangle here so sdr rect and i call it rec and make it to 200 200 oops 200 0 0 uh, the width and the height is not matter in this case it's just representing a, po a position and if I pass the pointer to this rectangle right here then basically it will it will just uh, place it to 200 200 but the rotation will still be weird so now if I compile it and run it as you can see the ship is not 200 200 position but the rotation is still weird so as uh, get the x coordinate of the rectangle and subtract the difference between the two uh, between the two so get the new center point and subtract the end, uh, the old center point. To do that, so rec.x actually, because we calculate the x first. So to do that, I get the rotated image, rotated image width divided by two, which is the new center, and subtract the old center, which is the img width divided by two. I actually do the same thing for the y, except I do the height, so I get the uh, uh, y. So I get the center point on the x first and the center point of the y and with this subtraction I just basically set the coordinate so the image, we push the image so the new center point will be, the old center point will be the new center point if I say it well, I think so, mm, try to run it so I compile it and run it and now if I rotate it as you can see it's rotated on the center so that's what the basic idea behind this so get the new center point and push the image uh, here so it will seem that it's rotating around the center okay the last thing to do in this tutorial is to actually move on the rotated direction so to do that we can use basic trigonometric function let me show you so I first delete whatever is here whatever in here and we can draw a uh, tri triangle, right triangle, so this is the direction, this is the x-coordinate, y-coordinate, and this is the angle. We know the angle, and this, uh, this is the speed actually, so called s, like speed. Right, so to calculate the speed, 
we uh, actually calculate the x, y, we can use the basic trigonometric function like, oops, like first of all, let's calculate the x, so sinus, uh, that will be actually a y, so sinus of the angle, sine of the angle, is equal to the y divided by s, y divided by s, so the y is equal to sine of a times s. Right, similarly you can calculate that the x is equal the x is equal cosine of a times s. So basically we just have to pass these into our program. So uh, let me make a current position which will be actually a float. So let's make it a float and current position actually just call it x, y for the sake of simplicity and let's start it from 200 and 200. Okay, and whenever the W is pressed, we are going forward. So x plus equal, because we are going forward, we do the addition. And sinus uh, of the angle. And don't forget that we have to convert this to radian. So multiply by m underscore pi divided by 180. Okay, and, uh, and yes, this is multiplied with the speed. Let the speed be 2 for now. Okay, and similarly I do the y plus equal and sinus of angle times m underscore pi divided by 180 and this is multiplied by 2.0 which is the speed. Uh, I meant this is cosine. Cos. Okay, that was simple and now whenever the s is pressed, so moving backward, we do the same thing except we uh, actually subtract. Subtract. Right. Okay, I think we can run the program after I pass the x, x and the y here, so int y. Okay, let's try to run it and see what's going to happen. So I press w and actually seems like uh, I uh, accidentally swapped the x and the y, uh, so the moving forward and backward. Seems that moving forward is the minus and moving backward is the plus. Now, if I run it again, let me see, W goes forward, okay, it seems that it's working like it should be, so rotating and and it's uh, moving in the direction we want. Uh, so this pretty much concludes this tutorial, but uh, b before I go, I want to mention that rotating on the uh, image in the CPU is very uh, uh, it's a very complicated, very long task, so if you can avoid it to rotate it in every frame that you should. For example, I could make a last angle here, so int last angle, okay, which, is, which will be the same as the angle at the moment, and I could make not just an image, but a rotated image as well, so SDL uh, surface and rotated image. And this rotated image is SDL Oh, oops. So this rotated image is the rotor zoom surface and uh, image which is rotated by angle the 1.0. So I just make another copy of this surface by rotating in angle and the angle is zero. So I make a copy and whenever uh, here in the end actually I make the last uh, not here but actually somewhere before I start the loop again so right here last angle equals to angle uh, so right and if the last angle is not equal to angle I just rotate it in then so if the last angle not equal to the angle then I rotate it so I put the rotation here and actually before I rotate it I have to free the original surface so I just copy the don't I make an SDL free surface I, I thought I did so SDL free surface and just free the rotated image. Okay. I didn't make it. I forget it it seems. So uh, this is a bit better because the ship will not rotate in every frame so on it will only make the actual rotation whenever we actually rotate it. So we should get the exact same result. Okay, I get the same result, but the rotation actually only happens whenever uh, we actually rotate it. So if it is the same as the last rotation, we just use the image from the last rotation. Except we don't need this. Okay, uh, let's try to run it again to see. Yep, it's working. Okay, so that should conclude the tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.